I think the first thing is uh, that there needs to be, of course, by the learners, an active involvement in the whole of the uh, learning process. Now, I think there's uh, at least one very important word in that phrase. Uh, I'm sure you can guess which one I'm looking at. Send in your answers. Which is the most important word for me in that phrase? Yeah, a lot of you are saying active, which is great. Yeah, um, active involvement. Um, obviously, the teacher needs to be active, but more importantly, the students, the learners, need to be actively involved in the learning process. So we're trying to avoid uh, passive um, activities, passive passivity in the classroom, where learners are just listening uh, to what the teacher has to say, or, or reading from from a board uh, in front of them, or, or reading from a book. We want the students to be actively involved. If there's something going on upstairs in in their brains cognitively, then they're much more likely uh, to remember and, and learn. Second point, I think we need to um, uh, think about. That if we're using a course book or a, or, a, or a text, whether it's a listening text or a reading text, then whatever it is, whatever the grammar is that we're um, exposing the students uh, to, it needs to be isolated. And then that particular piece of grammar can be used as a basis for the tasks that we want uh, the learners to do. So we need active involvement, and then we need to take the grammar from the text. It needs to be isolated so that the students can, can focus on it. 